everyone, this is Mirko Guerini from Melbourne, Australia. Today I would like to talk to you about swing articulation, that mysterious thing called swing. So, first thing, it is really hard to define swing because it's a feeling. So, uh, as well as it is really hard to describe like happiness, you can only use some words to describe it, we can describe the swing, but it's really impossible to put it on a, on a piece of paper or on a staff. So we need to understand, first of all, what, um, what the feeling is, what really the feeling is. So I have a few, few tips for you today. The first tip, which is really important, is that you have to think at the swing like a legato thing like slurred, continuous sound. So this is really important because too many times we hear students playing the swing with a horse riding effect, as George Gazzone calls it, which is So do you hear all those little gaps in between the notes, those little silences? That's where you start riding the horse. So you have to think at the continuous sound. It is really legato, it is really long. And so it is exactly like when you play a long note. That's the feeling you should have when you play with swing articulation, which comes I'm doing exactly the same thing with my diaphragm, constantly and steadily pushing the air out and try to create a continuous sound. Second tip, use a soft tonguing. This is also really important, a soft tonguing. So think at the syllable da rather than the syllable ta. This is very helpful to avoid the horse riding effect. So you can start practicing on one note. And let me start the metronome. Uh, so this is the metronome on two and four. And I will start playing crotchets and articulating the crotchets with da. One, two, one, two, three. Etc. Etc. So you have to make sure that there is no silence in between the notes. Stop the metronome. Another tip is uh, think that the swing articulation is much more in your tongue rather than your fingers. So the way I like to think at it is that I use 80% tongue and 20% my hands to produce a swing articulation. So in order to get this uh, expression right, I suggest you to uh, practice the scales in this way. So first of all, we play all eight notes in the scales and you can think that the the first note is slightly longer remember 20 percent fingers so the first note is slightly longer than the second one not hugely longer just a little bit like <laughs> Every second note you have an accent and every first note you have a tenuto. So this is the key point. You have to make sure that the first note of the pair of two eight notes is long enough to avoid creating any gap between first and second note. So you should get to the point where you play something like this. <laughs> If your tonguing is too hard, remember the difference between da and ta, then 
there is the risk that you sound like this. Because you want to give a hard accent on the second note, but you create the gap. So all those tips like soft tonguing and use only 20% of uh, fingers comes really handy when you practice a swing articulation. Now, let's try to make some examples on how everything should sound. So my personal suggestion is you run the scale uh, through the ninth note. So for example, in G major, you climb up to the A uh, before you come back. Something like this. Metronome again. Metronome is on two and four. So this is really important. When we play swing, we want to have this balance. And this will be beat two and four. So maybe you first want to get accustomed to this new balance. And yeah, I can show you several tricks on how to get it right. But the best one is if you start counting from number one in the silence. One, one. And then you will get aligned with the better. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, we can start. I will play G major scale through the ninth and back with a swing articulation. One, two, a one, two, three. All right, this was G major. Now, uh, to put everything together and to make your practicing even more efficient, this is my suggestion. Play each scale twice. The first run, you play all slurred. So you make sure that your fingers are very even in the movement, very uh, fluent in the movement. And the second run, you apply the swing articulation. Something like this. One, two, a one, two, three. And this should be applied to every scale, every mode that you play. Uh, here are a few tips on how to practice the scales. First of all, of course, play them through the cycle of fifths. So I will make uh, a run now, starting from the note G. One, two, one, two, Another exercise that I really love uh, to make it 
uh, a bit different and more fun is to play the scale chromatically. So I play two runs and then I go up a semitone. So the second time, instead of landing on the same tonic, I land the semitone above the previous tonic. So if I start from D, for example, then the second time when I come down, I land on E flat and I play E flat major. And then I play twice, I come back and I land on E. Something like this. One, two, or one, two, three. Get the best swinger in town. See you next time. Bye.